Well, g'day everybody and welcome back. It's time to put this block back together in the frame. Um, I've spent an age trying to clean it. The Muppet who owned it before me has uh, glued the bottom gasket on, so it took quite a bit to get that off, and I managed to nick the frame with a wire buff. But uh, onward and upward. Welcome to Basket Case. Right, we'll start with the oil ring. <laughs> Pop him in. Where do you put your gaps? Hey? Where do you put the gaps? On these. Mm. 25 degrees opposing. Mm. Okay. Lot of wiring. So that's the front. Can go down the bottom there. I'll not scratch the bloody piston so we don't get somewhere for it to pick up on. That's it. It's not going so well. There we go. So on. The groove. We'll put that one at the front, I reckon. And then the top one can go to the back. When I was um, learning how to assemble engines, I was always told never to put a gap on the thrust side. The important thing is to keep them, obviously, so they're opposing, so you don't get gases and shit bypass. But yeah, it doesn't really matter too greatly so we want the thicker of the two which is that one this is the second ring and the mark needs to go to the top very carefully so we don't snap him Lower him into the groove the, and front, the front side is the thrust side isn't it because it was when the engine runs backwards yeah but the power strikes on the down so it's at the back. The engine runs backwards, it's on the front. It's on the front. Correct. But, you know, the Yamaha manual says that you just put it so it's, um, so it's at the, on the quarters, right? yeah, on the back quarters. On. Yeah. And that's all right. We just uh, make sure that they're not lined up. That's the key, that's the key thing. That's one down, four to go. Right. On the other end, you mind if I cut this down? This other, this bloody duty thing? No. He doesn't, does he? He doesn't. You won't even do it. So, um, essentially what's happened here is that I got lazy. I got that frustrated after having to clean all this that I was prepared to turn a blind eye to some of the crap that got down in there. And Richard, thank you. And Sean, thank you. Um, have just vacuumed it all up for me. So, all right, we'll press onward and upward. But, oh, and you can I'll put a bit of rubber grease on these O-rings. Set them down. Now, just looking at this, I might have a problem. Why? Because the dowels are in the bloody barrel. <laughs> and these ones are not. And those ones are not. 
Those are in the bo in the in the case. So I can plug it these valves out. So you destroyed my wife's vacuum cleaner. You yeah. Do that. You have, and she's gonna be pissed. You good? Good, good. It would have been a good good wood cutting day. Mm. But anyway. I was thinking about having a little greenhouse. Right, oh, nice clump. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 Alright, I think we are now ready to put some barrels on. Guys? Mm, okay. So what we're gonna need mate is a screwdriver as well. Because... Usually you put blocks under the pistons. Yeah, but you're here. I do. <coughs> What, to hold them in place? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But um, the reality is that I think that with two pair of hands we'll be okay. Well, we're going to sit that in here like so. Oh, yeah, that pokes up and down, so that should be all right. Yeah. Oh, we, want, we want the wire up through there, mate. Up through the middle. If you can. All right. Yeah. Let's just lower them down until we start to there. No, that's, that's not too tight, that's okay. Oh, is, is yours started? Uh, is it in, is no, just I've, the top I've, of the piston in there? It is now, yeah. All right, and then we should be able to just, just crack that off a bit. That should be enough. Push it down. Ah, oh, you bastard. This is where I don't want my fingers jammed in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, no, 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 no. Mine's on. Mine's in. Now, if we just completely remove the uh, worm drive clamp I'm trying to scratch the shit out of everything all right mate yeah let's um start to line up the second one You all started? Yeah. What we want to really do is... Yeah, all you need to do is just back it off a fraction. You, want, you should be able to just turn it, but... Oh, I should just pop the ring out. Okay, you ready? Tap him, just lightly tap him down. All right, mine's not started. Might have, but the oil rings. Not yeah, but they'll, they'll feed in. I'll feed in, mate. Is it feeding in? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. How's it going? That's it. We are home. Just need to put the head Get on. Get those pull dowels. Down. Those de dowels, sort of. Yeah. Oh, mine's down a bit further than yours. Let me just try and gently, gen gently lift mine up. And see. If oh, I think the mine will go with a little tap with this piece of wood. <sighs> It's down. It's down. Yeah. Happy days. Right. We'll go on even, mate. Yeah. We've got it. Got your started? Yep. Yeah, I do have dowels. You just lift that cable. To yeah, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you're on. Can you no. pick it up? No, I haven't got it in there yet. That's okay. There we go. I'm going to poke it up through there. Try and catch it from the top. There it is. Okay, you got him? Yep. Cool. That's right. Well, the back not. I don't think it's. Oh, yes, it is. What's that? It's all right. Nothing. Is that a finger? No. No, it nearly was a finger. <coughs> it wasn't. It's all right. Okay. In position. Happy days. Just let it hang there. All right. Put some bolts on it. 
Where is he? There he is. 11 foot pounds. Let's go down to. There's 10. Or is that 10? No, that's 20. That's 10, that's 11. Run around all of those. Right, was, what was it, 27 pound? Was it 27 pound? 25. 25's not a lot, is it? Not really. Yes, they're tightening it down again once it's been run. Should always do that once you've had it up to temperature. Once you've had it up to temperature and it's cooled down, you should run back over them. Yeah, most people don't. Won't so hard on these because actually you can get to them. You can get to them, yeah. Some of them, when you're in the middle of the engine, you never do them again. Right, that it. Just the two little ones. These are 14, so click. They're not holding the gas in, mate. They're only holding a bit of oil in. Yeah, that's right. Stopping the gasket leaking around the edge of the tunnel. Click. Click, click strip. Click strip. <coughs> right. Camshaft. Posterity. Probably boil. Buckets. Yeah, they have too much oil. Oil cam as well. Lobes. You can buy grease for running in camshafts. I'll squirt a bit down the journals. Down the oil galleries, I mean. Same deal for the exhaust cam. Lube up all the lobes and the bearings. Put oil all over your engine. Try and feed it through that chain. We'll line up the sprockets and the timing marks soon. Selling his BMW, that one, that red Oh, one. the RS. Um, RT, RT. RS with an RT fairing on it, yeah. Yep. He wants 4400. 4400? Mm. He wants top dollar then. It's actually immaculate. He's had everything done to it. It is a nice bike. Yeah. He's had Milton go over it recently and put new bearings and swing arms and stuff like that. You thinking of buying it? No, I don't need another one. What? I don't need another one. <laughs> yeah, right. That's funny. Yeah. Thought that's what you said. Mm. Mm. You can leave that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need another one. Did you hear that, Ingrid? <laughs> he said he didn't need another bike. No, he didn't say he didn't need another bike. He just said he didn't need another BMW RS <laughs> RT. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. K100. K100. Uh, T. T. Mm. That's probably don't need another one. I always need more bikes. The, the correct answer to the question, how many bikes do you need, is one more than what I currently have. <laughs> All right, so what we've been achieving, or trying to achieve, is the dot on the top of the camshaft here has to line up with the mark when the 
thing is on top dead center so we've achieved that for the inlet we just now need to do that for the exhaust we should do these up from the center out so starting with this one tight 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 and I think I'm a tooth out. I'm going to have to try and jump the timing chain. When I rotated the crankshaft around and lined up the T, or when the T was aligned, these dots weren't exactly in the right spot so I've had to just undo the, the camshaft um, cam sprocket retaining bolts and loosen the cam chain off and jump at one tooth and then make sure the crankshaft is in the right position turn the camshafts until they were in the right position and refitted the, the sprocket. Right, so we now have the three elements aligned we've got the timing mark lined there We've got the dot and uh, the mark on the cam bearing cap aligned on both of those. So our timing is now set. This timing chain tensioners, they work perfectly well. You can buy uh, ones off different model bikes, etc., that are self adjusting so they have a ratchet system in them. These do have a tendency to leak a bit. Uh, now I'm going to fit a new gasket obviously, but the other thing that you got that you can uh, look at that may be a source of weeping is a taper in the hole for the bolt and um, they have an o-ring in there that seats down into that taper and squashes down and um, yeah squashes down and um, seals up and I just I've got a kit of o-rings at home and um, I just found one that will fit the job because the one that was in there was was pretty hard and perished so hopefully uh, yeah, that one fits down over this over the shoulder fine i'll put that in there with a with a um i'll go and put a bit of rubber grease on that now and, and fit it up and it should squash down into there and, and hopefully seal that up because they can leak out through that where that thread is all right so we've got a bit of rubber grease on there I'll screw him in. What I want to do is put a little bit of oil on this. Line the flat up with the bolt. Push it down until it's fully compressed. Screw the bolt in. So the bottom's out and clamps. Okay, so that is fully loaded now. And we want to rotate this around until the C is aligned with the marker. Right there-ish. We'll just poke our finger in there and make sure the chain is seated. Take our new gasket. the bolts in and drop him in the hole and then all we got to do is crack that off you hear a bang and that bang is the uh, tensioner hitting the chain. Nip it up. And then screw that, that other bolt in. The light's not very good. But yeah, you've got that locking nut there. 
and off. Chain's nice and firm. Everything's tight. Everything's got oil in it. Uh, we now have the bike barrel and head, barrels and head and camshafts all back in and in time. Okay, so I just spent uh, a few minutes checking the valve clearances and um, sadly they are a couple of that are tight. They're not riding, but they're, they're tight on the tolerances. So I'm going to have to do some reshimming, which means I'm going to have to uh, borrow that special tool from Milton again. Uh, so I'm going to have to wrap this up here. Um, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll be back with more from Basket Case. Bye for now. I've had to resort to desperate measures. You do not need to put gasket goo on the bottom gasket. I am having a hell of a time trying to get this cleaned up here because the master mechanic, and I use that word loosely, who fitted the last one, glued it on. And um, I even got the wire buff out on the four inch grinder and I've managed to nick the frame with it and not happy. You don't need to do that. So whoever you were, Thank you. A failure to do regular oil changes, it's what you call oil sludging. Um, particularly bad when you're using unleaded fuels. So what I had to do was with the other pistons, I've washed them thoroughly in, um, in degreaser. And um, then I spent an age, an absolute age, soda blasting them. Because it's very important that you get all of these grooves clean.